Hello folks, uh, the, my name is Ismail Shakhtachtinsk and I'm the principal immigration lawyer at IELTS Law Firm. As you may know, we represent uh, many political dissidents and refugees in connection with their asylum applications, both affirmatively for those who are inside the United States or defensively for those who enter the United States through the border and get, defend, get apprehended and detained, or who voluntarily surrender uh, at the border checkpoint and apply for asylum. So one of the questions that frequently comes up is if you are in detention at the border, um, if you're in immigration detention, do you need a sponsor? Do you need a sponsor for being paroled, meaning, meaning for being allowed to walk out and, and um, remain outside of the detention during your asylum case, or whether uh, you need a sponsor for bond applications? The answer is yes. So generally, if you don't have anybody inside the United States who would support you in, in one way or another, whether it's financially or providing you a place to stay or so on, it could be a relative friend or acquaintance or a family friend, then in general, if you don't have anyone that is going to be really difficult for you or the amount of the bond is going to be significantly high or you may not be paroled and must remain in the detention throughout your case. Um, now, who can be a sponsor? anyone. It could be an organization, it could be someone you don't know that is willing to support. This question frequently comes up now in the context of, uh, you know, sponsoring a, um, the uh, humanitarian parole for Ukrainian refugees under Uniting for Ukraine process, um, which allows up to 100,000 uh, of you know, Ukrainian refugees being in the United States. But we're kind of running off the topic here. Uh, again, briefly, yes, you should get a sponsor, find someone, ask around, try to get in touch with you, for, with anyone who may you may have in the United States or you may know in the United States. And as long as they provide the documentation, the financial support and so on, then you will have much better chances of being released on um, parole during your uh, immigration court case or your asylum case or um, being allowed, being released on a low amount of bond uh, that you can afford. Thank you for listening. For more detailed information about your case, specific case, please contact our firm. Thank you.